The resulting accident left him a T11 complete paraplegia. But just like Rick, Josh chose hope and possibility. Eight years later, Josh is a decorated Paralympic athlete. And every day, he breaks down barriers so people with disabilities can contribute to and participate in every aspect of their community. If that wasn't enough, Josh openly shares his experience so others understand the vital importance of workplace safety. He's a champion and a Rick Hansen difference maker. I was going in to demonstrate a jump to one of my athletes and, and as I came down the end run, I knew very well that I was going too fast. You know, when I was flying through the air, it was a, a definitely a sinking feeling, like I knew it was going to be disastrous. Oh my God, yeah. When I woke up, I couldn't move and I couldn't feel anything. I wasn't sure if I was in shock or if this was actually the real deal. And literally, it was like two weeks prior to my accident, I saw a kid in a wheelchair that was my age. And I looked at him and I said, I'd rather be dead. When I found out that I was going to be paralyzed and spend the rest of my life in a wheelchair, and I focused on a few things, like everything happens for a reason. This wouldn't have happened to me if I wasn't strong enough to deal with it. So obviously the gravity comes with that message. It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy to digest that. And to learn how to relive my life. When the news was first broken to me by the doctor, he did it in such a delicate way that he gave me something to look forward to. We just kept talking about getting back in the mountains, getting back onto the sit ski, and we even dreaming about doing uh, you know, flip again one day, and that was like straight off the bat. And then finally, things lined up. I got upside down in the air and That's just kind of laid it out. Yeah. such a wonderful place to be. I just love to ski and I love how much fun it is and if inspiration to others is a byproduct of that, that's just a wonderful spin-off. A couple years after my accident happened, WorkSafe BC invited me to come and share my story and experience. And I saw that it was just such a powerful way to connect with so many people. So that's exactly what it is. I share a story. I go into places, schools, or rehab centers, or corporate groups, and it's an interaction. LiveItLoveIt.org is a foundation that I've been involved with. Our goal is empowerment through adventures, so providing people that have had something catastrophic happen in their life and they face some sort of mobility challenge, giving them an opportunity to experience adventure in a way that they never thought was possible. I think if you believe in something, you can achieve what most people think is impossible. Please welcome Josh Dewey. It's a thrill to be here and part of such an incredible celebration. Thank you so much for this incredible honor. Uh, being in the great outdoors and going on amazing adventures, that's my life. That's what I love to do. Since my spinal cord injury, there's been so much I've been able to achieve and enjoy. And I see that as a direct result of the barriers that Rick Hansen has tirelessly broken down for the past 25 years. I do my best to follow in his path and ensure others also live full lives. What I've experienced in my journey and what we're experiencing right here is the power of community. It's the connection that we all need and the one I cherish. I like to say dream big, live simple, love life. Rick, buddy, thank you for everything.